Leo, what's going on with you? This is going to be your weekly reading from the 7th through the 13th. What's going on in your love life, guys? Let's take a look. I hope you guys are having a lovely summer. I am coming to you from Vancouver City. And it is cooking here, guys. It is hot as hell, let me tell you. But what's going on with you? It's your season. It's the time of the season. Let's see, Leo. Okay. So it is what it is. Ooh, seeking tranquility, peace. All right. Someone here is wanting to make some sort of advancement towards you. Something that you're not too sure about. There's still conflict. There's still some sort of frictional energy lingering here between you and others, so it seems. Just recently, guys, you had some something quite catastrophic happen. However devastating it is or was, whether small or great, it caused a major change in something that you had going on. Nevertheless, Leo, this is interesting because in the subconscious, I see a lot of turmoil, okay? In the subconscious position. And in the conscious position, I see a lot of pride. I see a lot of, you know, just typical Leo energy, just an exuberant amount of confidence. You may be, you just may be in the limelight and you may be receiving a lot of attention. Therefore, in that conscious state, you're really not giving attention to the turmoil. However, we already know how that leads. When you don't take care of situations, it's going to lead towards further darkness, right? Nevertheless, you are being optimistic, guys. You're being optimistic, okay? You have a good outlook. You have good expectations. You have good intentions. You have good intentions. Now, the person that you're dealing with is carrying a heavy burden, to say the least, all right? This person is being weighed down by whatever conflict you two had. Hmm. And what you're really trying to avoid is just mental, you know, scatteredness is what I'm saying. That's really the, what's happening here in the fear. It's like you don't, you're, you don't want to be scattered and you don't want to be all over the place mentally. Therefore, you're focusing on other things. You're not really giving attention to this conflict. All right, guys. But we already know, like I mentioned, what happens when you don't resolve problems, when you just avoid solving them. It's only going to lead to disappointment, guys. And in regards to your love life, Leo, that's where I see you headed towards the end of the week. Just experiencing a lack of contentment, all right? Throughout the week, you may be taking action to finding tranquility, to finding your own peace. You may be very optimistic and you may be just, you know, exuding that positivity, you know, feeling and receiving that posit positivity. However, in regards to some sort of relationship that you got going on, Things are a bit tumultuous at this time. Whomever it is that you're dealing with here that seems to be walking shamefully, maybe not shamefully, but, you know, with a bit of turmoil. What is this energy here, guys? This energy here, whomever it is that you're dealing with, this energy that is surrounding love life let's clarify this <clears throat> now the person you're dealing with wants communication they want to heal things with you all right it could be dealing with a Sagittarius however this person most certainly wants to fix things they want to mend whatever the hell you guys got going on all right and it's weighing them down because that benevolence that reciprocity between you two is not being experienced all right, reciprocity interaction is not being experienced and it's mortifying both of you guys. That's what I'm saying here. Let's clarify this beautiful energy that you seem to be exuding. Wheel of Fortune. What is this? All right. All right, guys, you're open to this. All right, you're open to bringing peace 
into this situation. However, are you really putting all your eggs in one basket? Um, maybe you are. Nevertheless, whatever happened here is too, was too devastating for, for this situation to just turn over in one day. All right. That's what I'm saying. Here. It's like whatever happened here caused some significant damage that is going to require some time to recoup. But it seems as if both you and whoever it is that you're dealing with are on the same page, Leo. Okay. I want to clarify this moon energy. It's like you guys, this relationship is moving towards an absolute obscurity and which seems to contradict this energy that I'm seeing. All right. It's not as bad as I thought it was, guys. What I'm seeing here, essentially, it's like you're embarking on this journey to find something new, to find something peace, peaceful, some sort of emotional harmony, okay, within whatever it is that you're dealing with. And this quest, let's just say, is a bit dark. It's a bit uncertain. It's like you don't know what lies around the corner. You're not sure what to expect by going down this path. Nevertheless, you're embarking on it. You're not sure what to expect on this path, but yet you're embarking on it, Leo. Let's clarify this conflict here conflict that I'm seeing. All right. <laughs> so guys, look, this is what this is a situation that I'm really just popped into my head. It's like really what right now it's time for recovery. It's time for introspection. It's time to analyze the situation, to really do what's necessary for yourself to move on from the difficulty that took place between you and someone else. All right. However, despite the fact that it's time for that introspection, self-care, there's still emotion in this relationship. It's like, you guys aren't even giving it a break. You guys aren't giving it a break. And that's why I'm seeing this friction still very much alive here. All right. Sometimes it's best for us to just retreat from a situation to collect ourselves, to get ourselves straight before we try to recover a, a relationship. You know, it's like it happens often that people get broken in relationships and they jump into other relationships immediately and they only bring that energy into the, the new connection. That's not what I'm seeing with you, but, you know, just apply that same message to an already existing relationship. Trying to fix a relationship when you haven't even fixed yourself, when you haven't even really gotten over what needs to be done with. You know what I mean? guys there's going to be some contemplation during the week uh actually towards the end of the week is what i'm seeing here you're gonna be faced with a decision you know you're really going to decide this this offer this opportunity to cultivate a relationship to grow it from where it's been is going to present itself it's going to be quite apparent towards the end of the week and someone here is going to be in some deep contemplation whether they're going to want to embark on it or not. Do I want to leave the past behind me? Do I want to, am I ready to move on from this hurt or whatever, you know, friction you experienced? That is the sort of contemplation that I'm seeing th during the week. All right. And, and that's what's actually necessary, guys. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because in the challenge position, we have this Knight of Pentacles. And this is a very pragmatic energy. As I say that, the, her the uh, hangman comes out. And to me, the, her the hangman, you know, essentially is, is the enlightened one, let's just say. And I don't mean that you're going to become enlightened or anything, but 
essentially it's a paradoxical illustration which basically says that you know there's a man that's hanging upside down he seems like he appears to be a fool for he's upside down however in reality he sees the truth he sees reality upright while the while the normies are walking on earth like this they're blindly just really inverted essentially while the hangman has his feet up in the heavens and sees reality for what it is okay and that is what is required that is, re that is the challenge here. That is what I mentioned earlier regarding this, con this introspection that's required, guys. All right? Sometimes you've got to take a time, a time out and just really make a deliberate decision or even give, just gain an appropriate perspective, an accurate perspective of the situation. You know, something may be fresh. These wounds may be fresh and you're still feeling these angry emotions and your thoughts are skewed. Take a chill pill, relax, collect yourself, extinguish that fire within you, and then think logically, pragmatically. That's what I see. That is the advice. All right, guys. However, let me just end it with this. It seems as if this is a situation that you're going for. All right, you want this. The person that you're dealing with wants this. And it seems like you guys are going down that dark rabbit hole to find out where it leads. That's all it is, guys. It's a potential. It has potential, you know, and it's up to you guys to cultivate and make it into, make it into whatever it is that you want. Team effort. And if you guys don't work out, it is what it is. You find someone, you know, you, you move on. You, you seek someone that you are compatible with, that, that is on your vibe, that is what you want. Leo, it was a pleasure, and I look forward to connecting with you next week.